What's going on guys and today we're going to be building the ultimate KB Lake custom loop PC. So right now I'm going to be showing you all the components and then we're going to go into a time lapse build log. Since this build is KB Lake I decided to go with the i7-7700K and I put the Maximus 9 formula motherboard with it. Now this motherboard is absolutely amazing and I actually did an unboxing of it the other day. There will be a link in the description below. I also went with the Pacific PR22D5 pump. Now this pump is technically overkill since I'm only cooling my CPU, but I do actually have some uh, headroom there since it can actually cool a CPU and two GPUs. So absolutely amazing pump right there. For radiator, I have the XSPC EX420. So basically it's a 420 millimeter radiator. So that's three times 140 mil fans. Now this is in white since my case is actually white and you will actually see that when I put it in the case. For a CPU water block, I decided to go with the limited edition Raystorm XSPC uh, acrylic CPU block. It is copper since I really didn't want to mix metals. You should really never do that. So I also got Mayhem's Pastel White Coolant. Since obviously this build will actually be white, a lot of things are white in this build. It'll literally be white and black. And I thought it would look really, really nice in the Tower 900. So I went with black chrome frittings from XSPC. Now black chrome with actual white looks really nice. This camera really needs to focus. There we go. Let's try and focus it. There we go. So black chrome fittings, really nice, and they're actually really affordable, and I got eight of them since this board actually has a VRM cooling, so I needed an extra two for that. You also got a, a plug for the reservoir and a pump, so I don't actually have to turn my whole PC on. We went with the EK Dura Clear th uh, 3 meters all together, just in case I mess up. It is a transparent uh, flexi tubing. I didn't go hardline at this moment in time since I am a water cooling noob, but I will upgrade to hardline tubing when I get the hang of it. Now we have the GTX 1070 for the win edition, and yes, I went GTX 1070 because for the sweet the sweet spot of a GTX 1070 is 1440p and I play ultra wide 1440 and I get 80 plus FPS on every game on max so I literally do not need to upgrade unless um, I would like to SLI it which I may do in the future which ties in with I could actually use this pump to do a CPU and two GPUs that may be a future update vlog here Thank you so much Memory C and I do have to give a big shout out to Memory C. They actually helped me out with the Trident Z DDR4 memory. This is white and black as you can see and they helped me out with this and there'll be a link in the description to their actual website and a link in the description to this actual memory kit. It is 32 gigs of uh, 3200 megahertz DDR4 RAM and Trident Z uh, since it's white and black it literally fits with the build as well. So we actually have the RM1000 watt power supply and yes it's overkill for this build but I've actually had this power supply for about a year now since originally I did have two GTX Titans in my PC so I did actually need a lot of uh, wattage. So that's that, it's still overkill but it's actually awesome. I've got a lot of headroom if I would like to put literally anything in my uh, PC. I also got custom sleeved cables, white again since the actual build is white and black. So that's literally about it, I have got all the cables I need, I've got all the components I need and it's literally now time to build.
really hope you enjoyed that little build time lapse. I haven't actually finished yet. I've still got the rest of the custom loop to do. But I'm not actually going to film that for now uh, until I actually know exactly what I am doing. I might do some little updates just to show you how it's going. But I definitely will show you the finished build. But here it is so far. It is looking absolutely gorgeous. We've got the braided cables. And don't forget the Trident Z memory. Thank you to Memory C. Don't forget the link is in the description below. And it's actually coming together very nicely. So on with the custom loop. And here you go. The whole custom loop is complete. So I'm going to run through it with you guys. So from this pump and reservoir, it goes all the way up this tube here into the CPU block. Out the CPU block into the VRM right there. From the VRM it goes to this end of the VRM all the way out into a radiator and then from the radiator it comes all the way back in into the pump and reservoir. I don't know if it's kind of loud for you guys but I do have the pump turned up to actually get the air out of the system but it's complete and this graphics card the for the win edition looks really nice with the blue rgb functions especially going along with the board it's kind of got a white black and blue feel kind of like a cold feel so that's absolutely awesome that's completely done and to show you right here we have let's see if i can focus this it was actually clocked at 4.9 gigahertz with um the voltage at 1.375 volts we've got right down here there you go 4.9 gigahertz altogether and that's running very very smoothly so this build has taken me uh not too long to build i think it was about a total of four hours man time which is kind of a lot but i would really like i think about took two hours on this custom loop altogether just to make sure everything was good so I'm going to get some B-roll shots for the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.